Okay then folks, we've got the Mars Mini. It's been mounted to the uh, Falcon Prairie Haunter, Night Haunter. Well, what I'm going to do this time, I've got the 25mm lens on it at the moment. I'll be putting the 90mm lens on it. So what I'm going to do to start off with, to show you a view down to my target, using the 25mm lens. I'll get it zeroed in. I won't show you that bit. I will fire some shots down there after I've done it. And then we'll swap over to the 19mm and see what field of view you've got with that compared to this. So let's get on with the test. Uh, put a few more just to knock the uh, spinners Oh, that one there, it's a bit too close to the back wall. Go for a knacky cracker. Ah, <laughs> oh, gone a bit to the right. But there we go anyway. It's a 25 mil one. Nineteen yards. Okay then, so it's zeroed in. So if we press the laser range finder. There we are. Interesting, it's coming back at 17 and all. But it's on not. There we go, 18 3 to the bird. Let's go out to the further distances. Twenty one eight. Let's go through the pallets. Right, you can see the target's not hanging down. Not so well on that, but you can in black. Okay. 
see if it's on at that distance just uh, put a few in so the spinner's down there about five pence a piece size the small ones Now we're nowhere near the safe, you can hear that door. About 80, 90 miles away. <laughs> don't know what he's doing around here. Right. Okay. Got it. See the hot pellet down there. Look. Went to the right. That's it, only I'm out, so. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change the uh, scopes over. That's fully zoomed out. We're in red hot. That's over to where I was shooting before. To swap lenses, pull back on the sliding catch on the right hand side of the scope and turn the lens anti-clockwise to pull it out. To replace the lens, line up the lugs on the lens with the slots inside the scope and turn clockwise. The catch will lock and the lens should then be calibrated within the menu before use. This is record so now you're looking through the 19 millimeter lens got a larger field of view very good actually i mean if you look at that i'll go to the edge of the fence the view you get in there is probably I'm trying to think how long that shed is I think it's 16 feet long by. The image you get in there is probably close to 30 foot anyway. At 20 yards, 19 to 20 yards. So I'm going to zoom in.
that's all the way in six times obviously you will lose clarity because you zoomed in and then the next press is back to where you started from now if it's anything like the uh, the Mars MT1000 you will need to zero in again I think because of the difference in lens I'm going to try it anyway I'll fire a few shots on what I was shooting at before and see if we can hit them if not it means you need to re-zero but it won't be up by too much but because it's I suppose it's a bit like a second focal lens uh, scope it's a it's different but if if you go to the, for the cheaper option this is it on the using the 19 mil lens you can buy either or both but they are coming out with a, a larger lens so who knows if that's a 30 mil we might be better off wait for that it all depends what kind of shooting you do okay zoom in one because i've not got my glasses on that'll do let's uh range to target Seven, yeah, that's about right. Right. <sighs> Looking at that, it's not on. Uh, go for the crow. Up and to the right, I think. go for that yeah it's up to the right so you can see the adjustments that needs to be made it's not a lot it's similar to what it was when I zeroed in the original 25mm scope so if I can hold off a bit yeah I'm going to zero in for this if I can. Yep, okay. Let's see if it's on. Yep, I didn't say anything at all to this, just a one shot zero. it anyway so decop so we'll just go through the menu then uh. right here we go then red hot at the moment jungle 
black up, white up, sepia, rainbow, rainbow, night, back to red up. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I will uh, use it for a while on this uh, setup and we'll see how I get on with it. So I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. To swap lenses, pull back on the sliding catch on the right hand side of the scope and turn the lens anti clockwise to pull it out. To replace the lens, line the lugs up on the lens with the slots inside the scope and turn clockwise. The catch will lock and the lens should then be calibrated within the menu before use.